Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video we gonna see some of the advantages and disadvantages of Web 3.0. So without a further delay let's set our video on Web 3.0. Web 3.0 has advantages and downsides that everyone should be aware of before using it. Web 3.0 leads to the third generation of internet services for websites and apps, which will focus on creating knowledge and semantic web employing machine-based information comprehension. The creation of more intelligent, linked, and open websites are one of Web 3.0's key aims. Because Web 3.0 has still not been implemented, there is no clear definition. It took more than 10 years to go from Web 1.0 to Web 2.0, and it will take at least as long, if not more, to thoroughly execute and transform the web using Web 3.0. Regardless, the innovations that a few individuals believe will eventually make up and characterize Web 3.0 are now being developed. Web 3.0 is influencing innovation in two ways, brilliant home devices that use distant organizations and the Internet of Things, IoT. If the progression pattern is maintained from Web 1.0, a stable data provider, where people read sites, but seldom connect with them, to Web 2.0, an accessible and social web that allows clients to collaborate, Web 3.0 is likely to revolutionize both how sites are built and how people interact with them. You've probably heard the term Web 3.0 floating around the Internet. Web 3.0 refers to a new phase in the evolution of the Internet. The advancements that Web 3.0 is delivering to the web will push it to new heights. PC scientists and internet experts agree that these advancements would make the web smarter and our lives easier. As a result, to appreciate these paradigm-shifting shifts, we must first examine the evolution of the internet as we know it. Web 3.0 has four characteristics. 1. Web 3.0 to get a better understanding of its complexities and nuances. 2. Man-made reasoning. 3. Semantic Web 3D graphics. 4. Pervasive. Advantages of Web 3.0 1. The semantic web will aid in the network of online data by linking additional data. 2. It is anticipated to be more dependable. Web 3.0 will allow producers and consumers more flexibility in general. Web 3.0 will employ decentralized networks to ensure that consumers always have control over their online data. The future version of something like the web is also predicted to be more dependable because of its decentralized design, which eliminates the possibility of a single point of failure. 3. It is usually very professional looking. 4. Personalization of the Internet to a greater extent. 5. You will be able to greatly personalize your online browsing experience, since Web 3.0 will indeed be able to recognize your preferences. This will also assist you in being more productive when surfing the web. 6. Web 3.0 will assist vendors in better marketing their products. 7. Sellers can comprehend your buying demands and display the items and services that you are interested in acquiring with the aid of Web 3.0's artificial intelligence. This allows you to see more relevant and better adverts that are more likely to be valuable to you. 8. It will be beneficial to everybody and everyone. 9. Services are not hampered. Because all data will be kept on dispersed nodes as a result of the decentralization, Users will not have to worry about their accounts being suspended or services being disrupted for technical or some other reasons. 10. Web 3.0 doesn't require the control of a single entity. Larger businesses may no longer have complete control over the Internet. As a result, decentralized apps, also known as dApps, cannot be filtered or limited in any way. 11. Improved Presentation 12. Perusing the Internet more efficiently in a more efficient manner. 13. Captivating correspondence that is captivating. 14. The human partnership needs to be changed. 15. Search results that are more sufficient and precise. 16. As the Internet becomes more individualized, working on it becomes increasingly simpler. 17. It's now easy to share information. Disadvantages of Web 3.0 
1. Web 3.0 will be inaccessible to less advanced gadgets. 2. Web 1.0 sites will seem much older. 3. Regulating is difficult. Decentralization, according to some experts, may make it more difficult to oversee and regulate Web 3.0. This might lead to an increase in cybercrime and online abuse, among other things. 4. Concerns about ownership Former Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey argues that, contrary to popular belief, ordinary people will not be the proprietors of Web 3.0 enterprises. Venture capitalists and financiers will own it. Control might still be centralized as a result of this. 5. It's difficult for newbies to grasp. 6. It is not yet fully prepared by the technology. 7. It is simple to obtain information about a user's public and private life. 8. More time will be spent on the Internet. 9. It is necessary to have privacy policies. 10. Web 3.0 will necessitate faster CPUs. Web 3.0 will be incompatible with older devices. As a result, to utilize the future version of the Internet, you'll need a gadget with above-average specs. 11. Owners of existing websites will be forced to modernize. As apps and websites that use Web 3.0 grow more popular, incumbent firms will be forced to enhance their digital services to avoid losing market share. 12. Access to one's personal and political data is made easier. Web 3.0 is a massive and linked network. Though this is one of its advantages, the neural network also makes it simple for anybody to obtain access to the public and private information you provide online. This hampers privacy. That's it guys these are all the advantages and disadvantages of Web 3.0. Hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe to my channel for more technology updates. See you in the next video guys.